A technician is replacing a laptop's Wi-Fi card, but after installation the laptop no longer recognizes any networks. What is the most likely reason? So we are replacing NIC or network interface card and after replacing this Wi-Fi card there is the problem that that card or that PC anymore is not able to uh, recognize any network out there. So what is the most likely reason for this? The BIOS needs to be reset, the laptop battery needs to recalibration, the wrong type of RAM was installed, the Wi-Fi antenna cables were not connected, or the CPU thermal paste was improperly applied. So what would be the correct answer here? And the correct answer is that the Wi-Fi antenna cables were not connected. As also always remember to connect the Wi-Fi cables. And if you know, for example, in laptop, the Wi-Fi cables, where they are located, where is your antenna located? It is located in your screen or at the top of your screen. And most Wi-Fi cards have antenna cables that must be properly connected to function. So always, whenever you are replacing Wi-Fi card, always remember to connect back the antenna cables to that Wi-Fi card. A user installs new NVMe SSD in their laptop, but it is not detected in BIOS. What is the first step to troubleshoot? Check if the drive is seated properly in the M.2 slot, reinstall Windows from a USB drive, replace the laptop's RAM modules, update the laptop's Wi-Fi drivers, or install a secondary power supply. Which one would be the correct answer here? And the correct answer is check if the drive is seated properly in the M.2 slot. And NVMe SSDs must be properly seated in the M.2 slot to be detected in the BIOS. And as you know guys, as I'm always highlighting this all the time, that you have your BIOS and BIOS is mainly kind of software which is responsible for all your hardware which are connected to your motherboard. A user reports that their desktop computer powers on, but no display appears. The monitor and cables are confirmed to be working. What is the most likely issue? Faulty RAM, disconnected SATA cable, corrupted BIOS, dead GPU, or failing power supply? Which one would be the correct answer here? And here the correct answer is dead GPU. As if a system powers on but has no display and the monitor is working, a dead GPU or faulty display output is likely causing this scenario. So, next question. A technician is troubleshooting a laptop that does not charge when plugged into a non-working AC adapter. What should be checked next? the laptop's Wi-Fi adapter and like I'm always mentioning guys whenever you are approaching the answers or answer options always understand the question if you don't understand the question you will read the question you will read the answers and you will create a chaos in your head because you will have this information in your head and you will have this information in your head and it will be starting to confuse you but and anyway, after you will return back to the question and will start understanding it again. But the best option is to start first, understand the question, understand the problem, whatever it is, and look for clues in the cash question. And only then, once you have that understanding or good understanding what the question is asking, only then approach answers. And here, the answer options are laptop's Wi-Fi adapter, the DC jack on the laptop, the BIOS battery settings, the laptop's USB ports, or the operating system's power plan settings. Which one is the correct answer here? 
and here the correct answer is the DC jack on the laptop. As if the laptop is not charging, the DC jack may be loose or broken, preventing power from reaching the battery. A laptop's display suddenly turns off. So, display suddenly, for some reason, turns off on our laptop. But the system continues running. And here we still keep hearing that our laptop is running, so when maybe are running, the light is still on, so we identify that our laptop is still on. However, display for some reason turned on, off. Adjusting the brightness keys has no effect. So first what we do, we try to adjust the brightness somehow, but it does not affect anything. What is the most likely cause in this scenario? And always when you get the questions, you have understood the question, when you get these options, answer options, if you don't even know the answer, sometimes you can just by using logic figure out the correct answer. So let's go guys, the answer options are the GPU is overheating, so that could be the problem, the LCD panel is disconnected, also could be a problem, the laptop's battery is faulty, also could be the problem, the BIOS needs an update, or the backlight inverter has failed. So, most likely cause in all of these could be that backlight inverter has failed. As the computer is still working, so nothing to do with GPU or LCD panel that is disconnected, because why would it disconnect? The most likely uh, answer would be the backlight inverter has failed, as if the laptop screen goes dark but the system is running, it's likely the inverter or backlight failure, especially on older LCD screens.